What's up guys, it's Riley G. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys something that I just learned. I couldn't find a form online about it and it was just driving me nuts. I recently got a Mac Mini and for some reason when I downloaded DaVinci Resolve and I was putting my files into DaVinci, I like to shoot in HDR on my iPhone, uh, especially when I go out and do shoots, um, the image was coming out very flat and I couldn't figure out why I was dragging and dropping. I even tried QuickTime and exporting it to 1080p uh, and different file formats, but it just for some reason wasn't reading, you know. Um, so I know it has something to do with the encoder, but I couldn't figure out how to change that in DaVinci Resolve. Everything that was popping up was for Premiere Pro. So I kind of figured that it works on my laptop, DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't mess with any of the color or you know the color range when I'm using my laptop. But on my laptop, I also have a program that I've downloaded called Luma Fusion, which is a great you know app that I've been using it's kind of my best kept secret it's for kind of on the go projects you can you know import 4k videos on your iPhone uh, on a tablet on a uh, you know iPad Pro and you can literally the scrubber is great and nothing lags never had an issue I've had multiple tracks going nothing has ever froze and I heard about this a while back and I was just like whoa this is a game changer However, it's not really as, um, you know, equipped as DaVinci Resolve, but don't get me wrong, you could get down with um, LumaFusion. So, you know, when I'm editing a project and I'm looking on Google and YouTube for a solution, I can't find it, it's, it starts to become troublesome and I, I'm about getting the project done now. So I had to find a workaround and this is how I'm doing it. And if you do know how to do this without going through the headache of importing and exporting uh, using a different product uh, product or, or app or software then please leave me a comment below but as of right now this is the workaround so as you can see that we're in DaVinci here the uh, video is very flat okay and I want it to look like that see how it got a little bit more wet there's without it and then boom that's with the natural as shot on the phone and here it is without it again very flat color um, and it was just not the true color and it, and it even seemed like the quality was not as good so what I've figured out is that if you you know open up a Luma fusion session and you export to movies boom it lands here on your desktop and here's the the end result so now compared to this HDR file and compared to this mp4 file um, we have ourselves everything we exactly need to keep the quality and the color grading exactly how we want so that's the work around there um, if you're driving yourself nuts about this trust me I know it's not a good feeling because DaVinci Resolve is a super kick-ass product but you know when it's these little things like this um, and there's no form online about it then you know this is my workaround but like I said if you know the workaround that will you know allow me to or anybody out there to not have to go through this extra step to get the color back to the original format then please leave in the comments and uh, description below and you know we could get to the bottom of this together but until then uh riley g lord here uh peace out